Hey, thanks for tuning in for another video, guys. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another video. Decided to do a quick little video update of the Civic uh, for 2020 before we roll over to 2021. I want to do for next year. BBK, get these guys on. Spoon inspired theme, I want to get a carbon hood. OM hybrid uh, side mirrors with the blinkers. Hybrid racing, uh, I do want to get some new seats. Again, side skirts, rear valence, and then JDP duckbill. Yeah, so if you do want to see more of the Civic in 2021 and what it's going to become, uh, do subscribe and uh, like the video. Welcome back to the channel, guys. First and foremost, Merry Christmas, and I wish all you guys a Happy New Year. Man, 2022 has been quite the year, especially for the channel and for the Civic. We reached over 1K subscribers on the channel, uh, met new and old friends, and came a lot of opportunities that I thought I would never get experience, but it was all thanks to you guys. Um, your guys' continued support, uh, watching the videos, liking, sharing, and commenting on them. Uh, it is worthwhile, so thank you guys so much for that. You know, I'm just a regular guy that likes to document things that I do to my Civic. And knowing that it is helpful content, yet enjoyable content to you guys, it is worthwhile to me. So thank you guys so much again. So to end 2022, I am going to do a full detailed walk around of my 2012 Honda Civic SI sedan. All right, there she is guys. This is my 2012 Honda Civic SI sedan finished off in Tafita White. Um, I purchased this car in August of 2018 and it has been a pleasure to own. No complaints at all. Um, I do apologize if um, the car is dirty because it is pouring outside. It has been for the past couple of days and the next upcoming day. So I do apologize if the car is dirty. Anyhow, I'm um, just going to jump right in. I'm going to start with the front and just work my way around the car. All right, so starting off with the hood. This is an OEM style BIS carbon fiber hood. The fitment on the hood is not too bad. It does have a bigger gap than I like, but at least the gap is even on both sides. I do like this hood a lot more compared to the Saibon one because the Saibon one has the SI hood profile, but the VIS has the LX um, hood profile. So it does bulge out a lot more. I don't know if you guys can see that. <laughs> Moving on to the headlight. All right, so these are custom retrofitted headlights that I did myself. So these are the 2012 Honda Civic headlights. And if you are unaware, the 2012s came with the amber corners but i removed that because i'm not a huge fan of the amber i think the clear looks a lot better i painted the center part of the housing black uh, i left the reflectors on both ends give it a nice contrast the projector is a three inch projector with a three inch uh, apollo shroud and yeah the three inch looks a lot nicer compared to the two and a half but the three inch does require a lot of cutting and a lot of trimming to fit the shroud for the bulbs, I am running an H1 55 watt HID bulb and blast. And this is an LED bulb that I just purchased off Amazon. And if you guys are wondering, this bulb does not trigger the DRL light in the dash. So moving on to the grill. Um, this is an OEM Civic SI sedan front grill. I just paint matched the top portion here. I did debadge the SI and running a red Honda badge. All right, so moving on to the front bumper. Um, this is an OEM UAE bumper with an OEM Modulo V1 front lip. Again, I do have the OEM Modulo V3, but that's at the shop getting painted, so we'll get that installed next year. Um, this bumper does come with different um, housing for the fog lights. So as you can see, we got the chrome bezel going around here. And if you guys are unfamiliar with the UAE bumpers, they do come with these two cutouts in the front where the license plate sits. Don't look all that great with two holes in the bumper, so I made a license plate delete to block off those two holes. Dirty here. All right, so going to the wheel and tire setup, I am running a square setup. Um, these are five Segans FN01RCs, 17 by eight plus 43. Wrapped in Falcon ZX 950s, um, 225 45s. 
they are painted um, dark blue metallic so at some angles you have black and at some angles you have dark blue I'm running um, black Mutiki lug nuts they are and for the brakes uh, we have Acura RL 4 piston brake calipers uh, with the OEM Acura RL pads, uh, fast brakes adapters kit, and a 350Z Brembo rotor. I'm also running a 1 inch uh, spacer to help push the 5 zingers out a little bit because they do not clear the Acura RL caliper. For suspension, I am running Megan Easy Street coilovers. I believe they are 16 way adjustable. Um, but yeah, they've been great callovers. The only complaint is that they are on the softer side. All right, so moving on to the side of the car. Uh, we have OEM 2012 Honda Civic Hybrid Side Mirrors. These comes with the blinkers and these look a whole lot better and a lot more functional overall compared to the ones on the regular Civics. Got Icon Motorsports window visors. Dropping down here, these are some Modulo side skirts that I purchased off eBay. I do prefer this uh, side skirt over the other ones because it just has a nice simple design and it does lower the car about an inch or so. Got some nice curb rash here because the tire shop couldn't install my wheel correctly. Moving on to the back, I am running SPC rear camera control arms. I don't know if you can see in there, but um, I'm running negative 1.5 degrees on the back and I believe in the front is negative 1.2. So it does have a nice usable degree of a camber in here. It's not too bad. All right, so moving on to the rear of the car, we have OEM 2012 Honda Civic hybrid tail lights. The brake light is fully LED and we got a nice clear portion on top here with a nice blue tint on this portion right here. OEM Civic SI sedan spoiler with a eBay garden flap that I purchased about a year or two ago. It's still holding up good, so I'm pretty satisfied with that. SL Design Works decal, gotta represent. Going down here, we are running Coupe HFP rear spats. These are retrofitted to fit the sedan bumper, and it fits pretty good besides this portion over here. It doesn't want to stick. But overall, I'm pretty happy how it fits. Red Honda badge. It is um, starting to yellow. Need a new one. Hybrid badge because this is a hybrid SI. <laughs> and then going down here, we have the PLM turned down muffler. This is custom welded to fit the OEM cab back. And going down here, those shiny things are the LCA covers. If you guys are interested, I do have a few of these left in stock. So hit me up if you guys want one pair. I do have the center brace, but I have yet to install it. Both rear and front fenders are rolled. And I think that is it for the exterior. Let's go ahead and pop the hood and see what we have. All right guys, so this is what I have under the hood. Engine is completely bone stock. Just have a few dress up pieces under the hood. So starting off with this piece, this is the Pastor JDM carbon fiber cooling plate made for the 2012 to 2013 Civic Coupes as well as the 2012 Civic Sedans. And it does fit exceptionally well, um, so I'm pretty happy about the fitment. Over here we're running the Pastor JDM carbon fiber fuse box cover. Got some spoon reservoir socks that I purchased off Art of Attack. Um, Megan racing strut bar up top. It is pretty sturdy. Painted the valve cover yellow and it's been holding up pretty good. It's just a bit dirty. Yeah. I am running um, Acuity shifter cable bushings as well as Acuity transmission springs and those does make a huge difference. Um, I was running the SARD hood dampers, but I had to take them off because they didn't fit the, the cooling plate. So I have yet to find a new mounting point for the hood dampers. But yeah, this is all I have under the hood. Nothing too crazy. 
So let's go ahead and move on to interior and that should wrap up the video. All right, so this is the interior. Um, nothing crazy going on in here, so I guess I'll just start from this side and work my way in. So I did swap out the traction control button for the Econ mode button off the hybrid. Just for shits and giggles, but the cool thing is that this button does light up at night. Um, got the TPMSD module from Nigent EE in here as well. Definitely recommend if you own a 2012 to 2013 Civic that has problems with the TPMS. All right, so going on the inside, we have the red Honda Bash here. We've got the Broadway uh, wide rear view mirror. It has a blue tan in it too, so it does help out with the glare. Going down here, uh, we got the hybrid racing short shifter with the hybrid racing 130R drilling shift knob with the SL Design Works um, shifter delete plate. Overall, this is one of the best combos ever. And if you want a better driving experience with your 9 Gen Civic, I highly recommend getting yourself a short shifter. And sh also shout out to the homies at Driven Crafts. But yeah, I think that is all for the interior. So it's not too much going on in the interior as of yet, but that's all I have there. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up here. Thank you guys so much for tuning in all the way to the end. I do hope that you guys enjoyed that full walk around of the Civic. And I hope I didn't forget anything. If I did, I do apologize. If you guys have any questions, make sure to drop them down below and I answer them the best I can. But yeah, until then, um, I'll see you guys next year. Be safe. Have a great New Year's. And remember to always stay lurking. Peace.